Gentleman may continue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I wish to, in the very beginning, commend the gentleman from California, the Chairman of our Education and Labor, Mr. George Miller, for the tremendous leadership and dedication and persistence and patience with which he has handled the pending legislation. I wish to also commend our distinguished chair lady of our subcommittee on water on our natural resources committee, the general lady from California, Ms. Grace Napolitano. I do rise in my capacity as chairman of the Committee on Natural Resources to support the pending legislation, which was favorably reported out of our committee without controversy. By now, I would think that most of us are aware that there are major issues associated with drought and agriculture in California. While the rainy season has hit parts of the state, it will do little to refill reservoirs that haven't seen normal level of rainfall for years. The impacts of the drought are obvious. Whether we're talking about brown lawns, fallowed fields, or increased water rates for struggling families. To address this dire situation, the pending measure is based on the practical idea of conservation through reuse. By recycling water, this bill would create 39,000 acre feet of water, or enough water to supply over 24,000 homes. We're bringing this legislation up under a rule today because a very vocal minority opposed this bill for reasons unrelated to the merits of the legislation. I'm fortunate to come from a state with abundant water resources. I understand how water is critical for both people and our economy. What I do not understand is why some members on the other side want to use this bill as a straw man so they can demagogue Democrats on the drought issue. One Republican member from California in particular filed a number of amendments that are very good at generating headlines and controversy. Unfortunately, the amendments were not germane to the subject matter of the bill before us, nor are they very thoughtful and realistic solutions to the crisis before us. Opposition to this legislation is like cutting off one's nose to spite one's face. Water supply issues in California are not a zero-sum game. Creating more water through reuse in urbanized areas reduces pressure on water demands elsewhere in the state. If opponents of this legislation want to work towards solving California's water woes, then I suggest getting real about finding solutions and stop the partisan political attacks. The bill before us today creates new water resources through reuse. We have brought up bill after bill doing the same thing before this body without any controversy, including bills from my Republican colleagues in Southern California, Utah, and Oregon. The only reason we are here today debating this legislation is because one member thinks the solution to a severe drought is to gut environmental laws and overturn court decisions. Perhaps that member should propose a rain dance as well. So it is time to support H.R. 2442 and move forward with practical solutions for a real drought in California. I urge support of the legislation and yield back my time to the gentleman from California, Mr. Miller. The gentleman yields back.